Some events in the area have had to get creative with how they're going to go forward. One of those being Essentia Health Go Far Women. They have decided that the run will be socially distanced and virtual. But how exactly is that going to work? Well, joining us now, we have Sue with Essentia Health with all the answers. Sue, welcome to the show. Thank you. It's nice to be here. <laughs> Beautiful day outside. So what exactly is the Essentia Health Go Far Women? Um, the Essentia Health Go Far Women is a women's only event that uh, promotes health and wellness to women, their perseverance um, and families. So we it's a two day event that we've had for this will be our eighth year. Um, it includes family events like a diaper dash, toddler trot, youth runs, a 5K, 10K, half marathon. And this year we added a 10 mile. Um, of course, this year, everything is going to be virtual. OK, and how exactly did it start? It started back in uh, 2013 to honor my sister, the late Dr. Renee Schwant. She was the OBGYN at Essentia Health. And uh, she really epitomized strength and wellness. And um, and it, I really just wanted to do something in her honor. So we started this race. She was a runner. Uh, she enjoyed staying healthy and active. And so in 2013, we started the race. And since then, we've held it every year. And we've donated money back to the Essentia Health NICU in her name. Wow, and it seems like a lot of people normally attend this event. So many smiling faces, love the pictures. What events can people still sign up for? Well, we did um, earlier, we took all of the events uh, virtual so you could do uh, different options. So everything is available virtually. We have the diaper dash, which is for babies that are crawling, toddler trot, which is four years old and younger. Um, so anybody who graduates from the crawling to going to walking can participate in that. We have a boys youth run and a girls youth run. And we also have a men and women uh, friendly 5K on Friday night. And then Saturday we have the women's only events which include a 5K, a 10K, a 10 mile, half marathon and a relay. So it sounds like there's a little bit of everything for everyone. And I'm sure a lot of people are wondering too, I mean, it's gonna look different than previous years. How's the event going to work? Well, we are, everything is going virtual. So what we're going to be doing is sending out uh, packets to all the participants that have uh, registered. We are having an in-person packet pickup. We're gonna have it outside at the Urban Plains Park, right out right next to the Shields Arena on Friday, August 7th from 12 until 8 p.m. So for those of the people that can't wait for their packets, they can come and pick them up. They'll get their shirt, metal. We'll have finish line food, um, music, water. Um, so they can get all their stuff there and then they go and participate in their run. They can do it wherever they are. Um, I also have maps of our course. So if they want to run the course, they're more than welcome to. And then once they're done, they'll be getting a link from our timer and they just upload their results online. Okay, awesome. And if people want to sign up, where can they go? They can just go to our website at gofarwoman.com to register. We also will be taking some registrations when we're doing the packet pickup on August 7th. Okay, and one Last thing, I guess, I mean, so many options for people that want to do it um, virtually, you know, staying safe with the pandemic, but also can people reach out, um, call, or do you have any social medias that you wanted to mention as well? Oh, sure. Yep, we do have a, we have Facebook page, uh, Go For You, Sencha Go For Woman. We also have a Twitter or Instagram. They're more than welcome to email me at sue at gofarwoman.com or my phone number, 701-371-5158 for any questions. Okay, Sue, and we have about 30 seconds left. Is there anything else that you wanted to talk about with the race coming up or things that people should know? Um, you know, I really just want to throw out there thanks to all of our sponsors. Um, we have some great sponsors. Of course, Essentia Health is our title sponsor, and they've been uh, a huge part of putting this event together, as well as Orange Theory and Apex. Um, we have Bell Bank and 
Oh, all sorts of great sponsors. I just want to really thank them and the participants and our volunteers. We've had the Fargo firefighters at the finish line for all of the years we've had it and uh, wish we could still be doing it this year. All right. Well, thanks so much, Sue, for being on the show. And thank you so much for all that you do. Yes, thank you. And coming up on today's show, Hope Inc. does such amazing work. So when we heard that they're trying to help disabled veterans, we wanted to make sure that we could have them on North Dakota today. We have their interview next. <laughs>